one get any very resounding reception. They got it all, Gorilla Monsoon. Yeah, I started to say earlier, uh, the other tag team match is going to fit Brutus Beefcake and Greg the Hammer Valentine. This ought to be a dandy against a great combination, Mike Rotundo, and he's wrestling, of course, with Danny Spivey, and they're working real well together. Boy, they certainly are. There's, there's so much attention today on the tag team championship belt currently held by Dynamite and Davy Boy, the British Bulldogs, that this you might consider an elimination tag team match. Could really, be. To see who is going to be deemed in the top three. Well, there's the bell. <clears throat> A little hassle on the side there. Terry Gibbs getting hassled by some of the ringsiders. And uh, Scott McGee's ready to do it. He's right dead center. And the referee says, come on, man, let's get this going. Terry Gibbs got a problem, Dick. He's always got a chip on his shoulder. I've never I've been around a guy for two and a half years now, and I've never seen him crack a smile yet or have a good word to say about anybody. Just a nasty individual. Well, you know, the fans, I guess, can reach you because I don't matter how much you say, they don't get to you. They do get you. hear them. Oh, but the fact is you got to block it out, and uh, that's the way it is. Well, ah, a little... Uh, uh -huh. Somebody's got his attention there. Somebody's sure. got his ear. Yeah, he hears it. Oh, I see. There's a guy standing up on there. He's got a big sign that says loser on it. <laughs> and he's sticking it right in Terry's and kisser. Whip, whip, and the... <laughs> well, they pay their money, and up to a point, they're entitled. Boy, that the ringside has run his case. And Scott McGee's losing patience. He wants to get it on. Bernie Scully, the referee, warns him back. Well, all right, maybe this is it now. They connect, so it's officially underway. In the ropes, going to have to break here. Referee checking him out. All right, clean break uh, so far. Complaining already. Yeah, Scully yeah. hasn't done anything yet. No, of course. The hair pull bit. The alleged. Okay. Got a little bit of a difference in, in height here. Naturally, Scott uh, McGee, the short of the two men, whether that has a bearing on this or not, I don't know. But he's working on the arm, the left arm of Terry Gibbs. He goes, he bails out, foot between the middle and the bottom rope. So they got a break. Well, both of these guys, Dick, started their career approximately the same time. And uh, Terry Gibbs went in one direction. He went out on the West Coast and started out there. And Scotty, of course, started uh, in Australia, I believe, uh, when he first started as a pro and came to the United States and has done very well for himself. He gives you that little bit of European flair a little bit. Well, he's well set up, young guy. He's not the, uh, the tallest, if that really means anything, but the guy looks ready to go in good shape. Reminds me a great deal of the late, great uh, Rick McGraw. Yeah, yeah, I think of him once in a while. Here we go outside the rope again, and, uh, and the fans, fans react predictably, getting on the case of Terry Gibbs, and Gibbs saying, hey, Mr. Referee, that guy's pulling on my tights. Well, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I doubt it. Terry went to the other side, thought maybe he'd have a friend over there, but he, he didn't have any friends <laughs> no, on that no side either. either. Well, all right, he ducks underneath the swing. Oh, fly takedown. One, two, uh-oh, close. I'm sure Gibbs will be paying attention to Scotty right now. Gibbs doesn't like that at all, man. Whoa! Oh, he's going to make a boy soprano out of him, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Gives him a knee in the back of the thigh. He's hurting. Oh, what's timeout? Tells the referee timeout. There's no timeout. Let's get it on. Definitely not any timeout in the world of professional wrestling. You can call one in a football game or That's basketball right. or something, but not out here. Either you're ready or you're not. We've got a fine, lively crowd here at the Spectrum. If you haven't been down the Wild Fans, if you're watching on Prism, great. We're pleased. But come on down and get involved. It's something else. I'm not too pleased, Dick. I just moved and I don't, I can't get prison yet. You mean you're not the uh, the squire of Willingboro any longer? No, I'm now uh, residing in Morristown. I'll be done. And I can't get, can't prison. get prison. Can't get cable, period. We well, have to pull some yeah. strings or something. All right. Try uh, to get something done there. Yeah, I hope so. <clears throat> nice duck underneath. Look out. Oh, oh, boy, did he telegraph that. He did. And Scott McGee was ready for it. All right. Oh, 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 oh. He nailed him. He said, oh, does that smart? Right on the buns. Shook the vertebrae. <laughs> See that guy go by with the cotton candy? Yeah. Boy, he got my attention, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Monsoon, I would tell you right here now, fans, has 
become less than a man. And explain that, this man's been taking off a few hundred pounds. It's not really that much. Whoa! Whoa! He came down outside. Gibbs let him have it. McGee would three the rope. And down front of us. Oh, man, he that shook him up quite a bit. He hit that spectrum floor. And there's no bounce to the spectrum floor, man. Absolutely none. There's nothing under there but the ice. He's a homo soul covering up the ice. That's about all. Came right all down right. on that right elbow. Now suddenly Gibbs wants to get it on because he feels in control. Uh-oh. Chop across the uh, chest or the neck. Couldn't see which. Oh, he's going to maul him a little bit. Scott right. McGee's taking a beating. Just ought to take a hike. Yeah. We're going to walk first. around the ring. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, you've slimmed down tremendously from that wrestling weight you've been carrying. Well, I'm working on it. I it's dropped are. about 140 pounds. Ooh. I almost lost one of you. Dude. I guess <laughs> <laughs> you lost the whole person. That's terrific. You're looking good. Thank you. All right. Off the ropes and no. Oh. Sunset. That flip. Uh, maybe. Not going to get no, it. No, I didn't get the flip. He had the sunset, but not the flip. And uh, Gibbs gave him a shot of the hand. Looks like he stung himself. Oh. Look out. Neck breaker. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's, him with that one. that's hard. That's tough. fans are back on him again. Nailed him right on the old external occipital protuberance. Easy right in the back say. of the head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll give you a headache. It sure will get your attention too. <laughs> All right. A little bear hug there. It's hard to break that by pure strength. Sometimes you get your hands between the other man's arms and uh, break it that way. That's tough. That's, that's hard. Hard way to go. Terry Gibbs is not known really for the bear hug. I think he's trying to regroup. I think that his, that original shot that he took to the thigh muscle and that an atomic drop to nail him, he's looking for a breather here with his uh, bear hug. I guarantee it. Okay. Well, now I see the left leg buckling a little bit. Uh, Scott McGee's and uh, he's vibrating. Uh, trying to get that strength back. Trying to reach for somewhere and break it. Maybe. Whoa. That broke it and the fans loved it. Out, the oh, oh man. He was gonna do a back body drop on him at the uh, put his head down too soon. Yep. yep. You yep. can't do that. You can't take your eyes off your opponent. Back to the bear hug again and uh the geese up on both sort of tippy toes there trying to take some uh, weight off his uh, legs. Well, Add a little bit sure of weight that, onto him. Dick, I'm sure that Terry knows that uh, Scotty McGee has been out for about seven and a half months with a bad back and He's maybe thinking that trying it's to, not not 100% yet. Trying to gain an edge, drill him on sure. too. Yeah. Had a couple of transverse processes uh, rotated a little bit. They had a heck of a time getting them back where they belong. Whoa! Look Put at that land right down. One, two, and a kick out, and he broke that. Shoot! All right, back to the bear hug, and uh, McGee in turn trying to push the head back. Terry Gibbs. Oh, he's, he's favoring that back. He's still not, maybe, we're presuming. And Scotty's just the right height to put his head right underneath Terry's yeah, chin. Yeah, yeah. Nice way to get out of that. Well, there he's going right, inside. He's, okay. Hip lock. Oh, nice hip lock. A takedown. He's going to drop a, oh. He's going to give him a knee drop, and there's nobody home. All right, take him. Oh, nice Locked. maneuver. A little switcheroo. Gibbs gets the head on the turnbuckle. There's another one. Maybe he's going to take him out? No. Oh. Inverted atomic drop oh, coming wow. up. Oh. Beauty. Oof. Well, that's the time to go for him now. Gives him a forearm. It'll make you wish you were home yeah. watching the Sixers or something else. Yeah, for sure. Catches him with a three uppercut. Four. He's really doing it to him. That's about time. you got to do it while you can. Oh, nice. Nice maneuver. Caught him on the head, but on the way in. Well, there's... Here's the guy who was thinking a little bit. He didn't get sucked in. It's going right to the midsection. Look out. Oh, oh, oh he's going on the hook him here. He one, nailed one, He's going to nail two, it. Three. Oh, yeah. Right. Scotty, pull that one out of the hat. Quick he thinking. Did. Oh, that was so fast. And it was a nice maneuver. It all happened at one time. Momentum. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest is Scott McGee. Well, the Grillamont's doing a very popular decision. 
and, and uh, Jim's still, still complaining. He's still complaining about the pulling on the tights or something. Still complaining. My God, here back, it comes. Look at this. Pack your bag and leave. It's all over. Now, I watch this maneuver, fans. It's beautiful. Nice over. duck in underneath. Look at how he, wow, his head just whacked that canvas when he went down there. Couldn't stop the momentum. Scotty gets the easy free count. Well, Dick Graham here.